holes and shit. All right, what up, y'all? It's Nasty Day. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, the button's right underneath there. It's very simple. Um, if you watch my videos consistently and you're not subscribed, I'm not really sure why. But uh, anyways, there's motorcycles and motivation on this channel. And what you just saw is the exact reason why we're here today for this video. And what I want to talk about is uh, the mentality behind stunt riding and uh, I've been lying to myself y'all I've been straight lying to myself so what I just did there was jump to 50 50 right which is what you've seen me do a million times but the reason I want to talk to you guys about mentality and riding, stunt riding specifically, is because I jumped a high chair four years ago now, and I kind of let it go by the wayside because it took me so much effort and so much mental fortitude to be able to even commit to putting both legs through the bars anyway, especially moving fast because I don't ever ride in first gear. But um, I let it go, and uh, in letting it go, letting it go I lost the muscle memory and <laughs> in losing the muscle memory you also lose confidence because if I don't know what it feels like to put both feet through the bars um, and feel comfortable doing so I'm not gonna do it so um, I'm even gonna chop in some old footage hopefully I can find it of me practicing two years ago this trick again and not getting it, jumping to 50-50 every single time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you saw right there, not full commitment. Reason one being is because I'm uh, concentrating on talking to you guys as well. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk and then I'm going to ride so I can concentrate. But anyways, um, I let this trick go for so long that I lost the muscle memory and the confidence to be able to do it. So now every time I come to the lot, and I've been practicing this for a while with no commitment, coming to the lot, jumping to 50-50 every single time my left foot would not leave the seat for, for the death of me. <laughs> to talk to you guys about is <sighs> stunt riding is more mental than it is physical and everybody wants to argue with me I will gladly have an open conversation <laughs> Why do I say it's more mental than physical because look both of my feet will clearly go through the bars. But why, for the last two years, no, I didn't practice it consistently. Um, I would dedicate maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, um, every two months to trying it and never ever getting both feet through. And why? Because I was running from it, because I was scared. Because I wasn't scared of crashing. I was scared of failure and defeat. I was scared of failure and defeat. And then I was lying to myself. I was saying, oh, I'm not flexible enough. Uh, I don't want to get hurt. Um, all these excuses, lame, lame excuses for uh, something that I know I could do because I was scared to attempt it. soft person that's worried about 
this that and the other what can happen oh man i don't want to crash blah blah it's like this is why i got into it is if you don't want to crash then i suggest you pick up a different hobby like knitting or something like that but so what i want to talk to you guys about I'm gonna talk to you about science. I'm gonna talk to you about performance anxiety and fear and how it relates to doing this. How does it relate to doing this, Nate? Well, listen, this is a study and you can look this up, look up the term performance anxiety. When you have a fear of something happening, so our end result or our fear in stunt riding, especially me shooting over the bars might be that the bike's gonna die. I'm gonna shoot over the bars, which I have crashed and broke my arm in this trick before, right? So maybe that was subconsciously built up in my head. But what happens is, is when you focus solely on the negative, what you don't want to happen, and you turn it into a fear, your body and your brain, excuse me, your brain will use your body against you to protect you because you have made whatever you're trying to do a fear and then your body goes into defense mode to defend itself and you can actually lose function in your body parts so like when people say fight or flight and they don't i don't know what happened i just uh, all i remember is whatever right okay that's exactly what happens with this bike the second you go to rock it back and you have a fear of something, your subconscious takes over. So you're either, you're going straight to what you remember and going straight to what I remember was jumping a 50-50 every single time. So there was multiple times I would ride up and down the lot, up and down the lot, up and down the lot, and I would never, ever, ever even attempt to put both legs through. I don't mean that I wouldn't make it through. I mean that my, like I said, my left leg would not come off of the seat for the death of me. And how did I get over this? I had to be honest with myself. I kept telling myself, oh, you know, it's this, this, and that. I'm gonna wait for a dry day. Um, I'm gonna get dirt bars and blah, blah, all this, all this stupid stuff. And I was lying to myself. And what, what was, what I had to, what was holding me back? I knew that it, 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 what, when I was being truthful to myself, that I think that because my left hip from an old injury is a little bit locked up and a little bit tight, that I wouldn't be able to make it through the bars. That's it. And as we can clearly see, it's not true. So that's what was holding me back this whole entire time is that I'm thinking, there's no way it can happen because of my hip injury. There's no way it can happen because I can't move my hip in the same way that I can move uh, my left hip the same way that I can move my right one. There's no way, there's no way. Well, guess what? The no way turned into no way. The turn, it turned into me not doing it for two years. So as you can see, that fear is gone. Uh, not even a fear, the subconscious thinking is gone. And that's where I get worried as I get caught up right there. That was my whole entire worry and look what happens, nothing. I'm good, nothing happens. No crash, no big, uh, big end, didn't break my neck, blah, 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 blah. So, um, my best advice, if you're trying something new, I'm talking about in life too. This is so much bigger than stunt riding. This is so much bigger than bikes. Whatever you're trying for the first time, whatever is making you nervous, take that end result and don't make it bigger than it really is. Like, don't take what's the worst that can happen, accept it. 
because it could possibly happen but would you rather put more energy into your your goal and, and what you want to accomplish or into what could happen as the failure Bike's not warming up again. Running like straight dog shit. So what I'm doing now is I'm pounding this muscle memory into my head. This is all I'm doing today. that's exactly what happened the first time is I let it go I did it I got the hype I got the credit I got the the uh, the clout when I was younger and that's what I wanted it and I let it go and now I couldn't do it but now I'm not letting it go this time I did this last week I haven't rode for a week so as you can like last week I was doing it over and over getting to every time it's only been a week and I'm already like not consistently getting it so that's why I'm doing it and that's all I'm doing today So before I end this video, um, just want to go over one more thing with you guys. Kind of do like a, a recap with what can happen when you are fearful of something. When you are fearful of something, the body goes into fight or flight mode. You go into fight or flight, you resort to what you know and what your body remembers subconsciously. of things over time like muscle memory for instance like on this 50 50 jump that i just did over and over and over and over and over so um you got to get over the fear um create the new muscle memory create the new habits um and uh create a new mentality so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one